changing climate on our planet demands action, and climate fees and dividends are a great proactive step. Canada recently announced that starting in January, they'll implement a carbon fee and dividend. It's basically a pollution tax. The result will be, for example, gradual increases in gas and energy prices, but most households will get quarterly rebates that should more than cover the increased costs. A similar strategy in the U.S. has been spearheaded by both conservative and progressive groups, the Conservative Climate Leadership Council and the Progressive's Citizens Climate Lobby. Emissions from burning fossil fuels have been the most significant source of increasing the atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide. The historic range of 172 to 300 parts per million over the last 400,000 years has risen to over 403 parts per million today. The Climate Leadership Council's proposal is to start with a $40 per ton of carbon dioxide fee, which gradually increases until effectively reducing U.S. emissions by 70% by the year 2050. That's in line with the Paris Climate Agreement. The fee will be paid by companies who sell petroleum, coal, natural gas. These companies will pass on the fees to consumers. For example, gasoline prices would go up about 38 to 42 cents a gallon on a $40 per ton fee. But in order to keep this from becoming a true tax, the money raised is set to come back to each and every U.S. citizen with a Social Security number as a quarterly dividend. The council says that the bottom 70% of U.S. income earners would see a modest increase in the money in their pockets under this proposal. In exchange for this fee, the council is requesting all carbon emission-related regulations, for example, the Obama administration's Clean Power Plan, be removed from the EPA oversight. We see this as a very reasonable compromise. In our 20 plus years in the business of energy efficiency and 30 years of being concerned about climate change, we've consistently seen more energy efficiency improvements done in homes and businesses when energy prices have been higher. During these 30 years, we've been waiting for the conservative segment of U.S. political philosophy to come up with an environmental plan to conserve resources. And we believe the Climate Leadership Council has come up with that plan. Please write your senator, U.S. representative, and ask them if they know about the Climate Leadership Council's proposal and if they plan to author or at least support the legislation once it comes to the House and the Senate.